A great way to start your workout in the pool is just by walking across the pool, holding onto a noodle if need be, and then try walking backwards. So go as far as you can. Maybe it's one time across the pool forward and then one time back. Okay, another move you can do in the water is just to do high knees. Bring that knee up high as you can, and when one foot gets down, then you bring the other one. And if you feel like you can move on, try doing this, but jogging in place, adding a little hop to it, bringing those knees up nice and high and doing that in place. Great. Next exercise, calf raises. Important to keep that range of motion in your calves. She's lifting up as high as she can to her toes and then coming back down. Up to your toes and then your heels touch, just like that. Great. Next exercise is a side leg lift. So she's bringing her leg out to the side and pulling it back in. That's gonna work the muscles on the outside of your leg and the inside of your leg when you pull. Water creates a great resistance for strength training. Okay, now you have to be sure to do the same amount on the other side, lifting it out and in, out and in. All right, great exercise for the upper body. You'll want to be in slightly deeper water. Your hands come down to the outside of your thighs. And as you lift your arms up, you turn it so that your thumb is facing upward. And then you pull it back down so the palm of your hand touches your thigh. Arms are out directly at your sides. Okay, now we're going to have our arms come up in a 45 degree angle. When she brings her hands down, the palms touch the front of her thighs. But as she comes up in that 45 degree angle, her thumbs once again are turned up. And she's having fun. <laughs> Next exercise is external rotation. You want your palms facing inward. Your elbows are locked at your side. And you have a 90 degree angle in your elbow joint. You bring your arms out and pull them in. Out and pull them in. Great for shoulder strength. Here's another great exercise. It's like doing step aerobics in the pool. You step up with your right, left, and then down with your right, left. So right, left, down. Great. And then you switch to the other side of the railing, hold on to it, and then step up and down. Up with your left, right, and then down, left, right. Up and down. Great for leg strength. All right, here we are. We've got the noodle under our arms, around our back, and she's swimming on her back, kicking those legs, moving, keeping that whole body moving. Great way to get some exercise. And here is another exercise. Keeping the noodle in place like it was for the backward swimming, you bring both knees in, and out. It's great to stretch out the back, but it also strengthens your core. So important to get that core strong. The squat is a great exercise whether you're in the water or out of the water. But if in the water, hold your hands on a noodle out in front of you, push your hips back like you're sitting down into a chair, and then engage your glute muscles as you come up. Squeeze those glute muscles. You'll notice how her knee is staying above her ankle when she goes down. Her knees are not coming forward. All right, here's a great stretch. You have your hands on the edge of the pool and you slowly walk your feet up the wall. Once up there, extend the legs if you can and stretch out that lower back. Stretches out the hamstrings, the back and the shoulders. Then come in and then hold that stretch. For most people, you'll just put the balls of your foot on the wall, but if you want to increase it, you can try to push your heels into the wall as well. Great stretch. 